They allegedly contained information about paedophile activity in Westminster during the 1980s. But where 114 files identified in an internal Home Office review are, or if they even still exist, is unknown. The Home Secretary, Theresa May, will tomorrow respond to Labour's calls for a wide-ranging inquiry into the child sex abuse claims. But today, the former Cabinet Minister, Lord Tebbit, said he thought there could have been a political cover-up of child abuse claims during the 1980s. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Simon Israel, reports. Westminster has been anything but reassured by the Home Office's decision for yet another review. It's no longer what may or may not be in the dossier alleging child sex abuse three decades ago. Now Labour want the focus not just on how allegations in the 80s were handled, but in the 90s as well, and not just at the Home Office, but in other government departments too. We need to have a much wider uh, inquiry into what was happening in the Home Office, in Whitehall, in the police and in the prosecution authorities in the 80s and 90s. What did they actually do with these allegations around uh, child abuse? That's where we think that the government at the moment aren't taking this as far as they need to. The Home Office was silent today, referring all inquiries to the correspondence published yesterday. In one letter, the Permanent Secretary, Mark Sedwill, revealed details of the analysis of over three quarters of a million files. Of those, just 573, less than 1%, were identified as potentially relevant and examined. The real interest, however, lies in 114 other potentially relevant files now presumed destroyed or missing. But these are a tiny sample of the numbers weeded out. More than 300,000, nearly half, had been shredded or were missing. We need to know how they got missing, who authorised their removal if they were removed, and what kind of system is in place to protect important information of this kind. A bit late now, some may argue, to close the stable door in relation to the bundles of documents handed over by the late Geoffrey Dickens MP. Allegations of an establishment cover-up got some support today from one government minister at that time. I think most people would have thought that the establishment, the, the system, was to be protected. And if a few things had gone wrong here and there, that it was more important to protect the system than to delve too far into them. Now that view, I think, was wrong then. The Home Secretary will give a statement to the Commons tomorrow, in the wake of pressure from MPs for some answers and much more than just a review. The spectre of a cover-up has not gone away. The Home Office letter to the Prime Minister yesterday has simply fuelled even more suspicion at Westminster. Its author, the Permanent Secretary, Mark Sedwill, is to be questioned by MPs on Tuesday. And one area for certain that will be scrutinised is the content of those files that went missing or were destroyed. Well, earlier I spoke to Simon Danjuk, the Labour MP for Rochdale, who has been at the forefront of the campaign to investigate this alleged paedophile ring in Westminster. I asked him for more details of the conversation he says he had with another MP before his appearance in front of the Home Affairs Select Committee last week. He stopped me uh, outside the chamber and had a word in my ear in terms of uh, what I would and wouldn't say at the select committee. I, I was quite riled by his approach. Uh, I said I'd listen to what he'd say, I'd uh, consider uh, what he said and we'd leave it at that. What and did he I actually say? Well, he say, well I, I, I've rehearsed what he said uh, on a number of occasions now, but he, he was just making the point that he, that he thought it wasn't right that I should uh, name names at that committee. And why aren't you revealing who this was? I, I think the MP that uh, spoke to me uh, on Monday night uh, should come forward, uh, reveal himself uh, and explain to the public why he felt it was important uh, that he approached me in the way that he did, justify his actions. That's for him to do. It's not for me to, to, to do that. He should reveal who he is and, and, and justify the actions of what he did. And did it, did it change your approach to the evidence you gave? No, I'd already determined, uh, I'd already decided myself in terms of the approach that I would take at the select committee. I'd put a lot of effort in, 
into preparing for the select committee and I, I, I fully understood uh, the type of approach that I would take. I, I'm not the type of person that would easily be bullied. Lord Tebbit, Norman Tebbit, has talked today about this idea that the culture of the time in the 1980s was to protect the establishment. Is this something you've heard from other people you've spoken to? Yeah, well, having researched the issues around Cyril Smith, I, I would tend to agree with uh, Norman Tebbit from, from my understanding of the time. Uh, he will know it much better. He was around then. And I think it's brave and honourable of him to come out and uh, say what he has said today. The bottom line in all of this, I believe, is that the Prime Minister now should really instigate an overarching inquiry that would create the space for us to be able to get to the bottom of exactly what went on. And I also think potentially identify a number of other uh, potential perpetrators so that that information can be passed on to the police as well. Do you think British politics could withstand such an inquiry? I mean, the, well, I the impact yes. on public confidence in politicians would be utterly devastating. Well, politics is struggling already to, to deal with the fallout from all of this. Uh, people are very sceptical about politicians at the best of time, uh, and they're very concerned about how this is being handled. Uh, we have a little bit more information coming out every day. Uh, it can't go on like this. We've got Home Office questions tomorrow, uh, where the Home Secretary will have to answer questions, which I'm sure will come up around these issues. Uh, but but on it will go and I have no doubt more ev evidence, more information will come out, more allegations uh, will come out. It's almost inevitable. The MP Simon Dandrick speaking to me earlier. Well, for more on the story, do go to our website, channel4.com forward slash news.